Welcome to the State of the Arts, Montgomery College's Arts and Artists Showcase. I'm Princess Noma. And I'm Joey LaFaro. We have an exciting show for you, including an up-and-coming artist from the Tacoma Park Silver Spring campus and an exhibition of student works from the Graphic Design and Illustration program. But first, let's take a look at Montgomery College's Summer Dinner Theater program. Summer Dinner Theater has been in existence for 31 years. We uh, celebrated our 30th anniversary and kept moving, which is great. We try to do two shows with very different uh, requirements for the performers. And uh, Beauty and the Beast has a great deal more dance in it than, and more show kind of dance. Evita has a very different kind of dance, more with a Latin feel to it. And so it gives a, a broader uh, amount of stuff for the students to apply for because some have talent in one area, some have talent in another, and that way we have a greater number of students able to perform. In Evita, I didn't really do a whole lot. Um, I'm here every night for cleanup because I'm the shift leader for the dinner process, but uh, just Beast. I was a featured dancer in Evita, and for Beauty and the Beast, I'm also a dancer. I served as a stage management intern for Evita, and now I am lightboard operator for Beauty and the Beast. For Evita, I was uh, Augustine Magaldi. He's a tango singer in Ava Perone's First Love, uh, quote unquote. And uh, for Beauty and the Beast, I am uh, Monsieur Dauk. He, uh, he owns the crazy house, and uh, he has one fun number, so it's a lot of fun. My roles for the shows are I'm actually a costume intern. I am responsible for maintaining the costume shop and the costumes. I'm responsible for quick changes on stage. Um, for Evita, I had to chase her around stage, chase her around backstage area, making sure she got into the right costume every scene. Um, I make hats, I make masks, claws, anything they're wearing, I help with. This year, I'm an artistic director, not directing a show. In the past, I have directed probably out of the 64 shows, maybe. 30 of them, maybe 28. In year one, we didn't have near the kinds of support that we have now. We didn't have the kind of technical support. We didn't have the financial support. We didn't even have the college's support. Nobody knew what we were doing. But over 31 years, they have learned that we do two, full scale with professionals um, in the leadership roles. We have in a full intern program in the secondary roles and then we have um, a full student complement in all the roles. So we are about four or five times larger, four or five times more complicated than we were. The faculty here is really great, uh, particularly Kenyatta Rogers. I kind of turn to him whenever I have questions about anything. He's been my mentor since we got here. Um, just kind of the whole department is really helpful, really willing to help you out. The costume department in particular for class projects, for shows, I mean they're really there to give you what you need. The faculty here very, are very open, um, you, always able to go and ask for help, ask questions at any time and they're able to help you, give you pointers, um, whether you're in a show or you're not in classes, they're just very available. Peter Zakatiasi is really good, he's, he's my mentor this summer. Um, along with Emily Long, they're really good about listening to you. When you come in and you're visibly upset, they will ask you what's wrong and you'll work it out with them. So it's really cool. The theater faculty here at MC, they're, um, they're very professional and they always, they always look to teach first. They're um, always there for you if you have a problem or anything. You ask them and they will answer it without any hesitation. And, uh, they, they strive for a very family-like atmosphere, but still keeping that professionalism. Personally hoping to be a director and stage manager professionally in the D.C. area. So um, I've worked with eight different, well, seven different directors now with eight shows. Um, and that's been wonderful in making contacts in the, in the neighborhood, basically. Um, but also the, the working with the same people year after year, Dennis Mulligan and Susan Hoffman and the whole group, and getting to work with them year after year and really learning a whole set of theater etiquette and stuff has been really, really helpful. I would have to say Susan Hoffman has been really, really helpful to me this past semester especially, um, just providing really good sound advice, professional advice as what the next step should be. Kenyatta Rogers, a very well-known director here at MC, and uh, you know he has other pursuits outside of MC, but he always makes time for his students here at MC. We're not a community college theater department. We are a four-year school theater department in what we accomplish in a year. We have a 
full program in acting for the two-year level. We, go, uh, we have full program in technical theater, lighting, co uh, costumes, scene construction in the stagecraft course, all of that, plus a production course where they work on everything. And we have um, a directing class, at, which is kind of a culminating class at the end. Um, maybe they're a little young for getting the directing, but it certainly is the best acting course or the best technical course they've ever had because they get the, you know, it's sort of like letting them in on the joke. They get to find out why people are asking them to do all of this stuff. The theater department here, we put on shows that are professional caliber. I mean, they're really, really spectacular shows. We get great staff, you know, guest artists to come in and direct, to come in and musical direct when we do the musicals. I mean, it's the opportunities that you get coming out of here. I've gotten professional work because of the shows that I've been in here and the contacts that I've made. And like I said, the department's great. I mean, it's just, it's a win-win all around. The program is a lot of hard work, but it's worth it, especially with, in my opinion, costumes is really worth it because as soon as you're done, you get to see the end result. You know, you see it being used on stage, you get the comments, oh my God, that dress is amazing. That fork, wow, how'd you do that, you know? And it's just, it's really satisfying to be like, they really like my work. There's so many opportunities. Um, everyone is really willing to help you out and give you a chance. And it's just, it's really fun overall. It's just a really fun process, a really fun group of people. When you come to Summer Dinner Theater, you do the same paperwork as everybody else. If you want to transfer credits to another school, it's the exact same process as everyone else. And then at the end of your summer, you just literally fill out half a piece of paper and send $5 to MC and they send it straight to your school. And it's a really simple process and it's the same three college credits no matter where you're sending it to. Um, and it's the exact same as everybody else that's here. You meet a lot of um, diverse people here in the theater world. and. Uh, it's not just a bunch of theater geeks, as some people would say. There, there really are a colorful collection of people. Um, you make quick connections because in a theater atmosphere, it's it's necessary, and um, it just I, I think it helps shape a person. We're all really excited about summer dinner theater. We pull in directors from you know everywhere. Uh, I directors that aren't necessarily on MC faculty, so uh, you get connections that way. It's a great opportunity. I probably will come back for next year's Summer Dinner Theater, and I know I'll definitely be auditioning for the shows this coming fall. I've run out of internships I'm technically allowed to do, but I do hope to come back next summer to audition, actually, um, and be an actor in the company. Summer Dinner Theater in particular is a really great program. I mean, it's, it's stressful, it's crazy, you dedicate your summer to it, but it pays off big time in the end. I mean, it's my third year, I'm still learning stuff, and the opportunities that you get coming out of it are worth their weight. It's really an exciting program. There's no way I would have stayed with it for this amount of time if it wasn't for the students. So they're the ones who bring you the heart to the program. Do it. Do San Martino Theater. I'm totally going to do it next year. Promise, Susan. For more information about the theater department at Montgomery College Rockville campus, the number to call is 240-567-5258. And our website is www.montgomerycollege.edu slash department slash spdnth. Mm -hmm.